evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Fair District. Guest with us tonight in the pregame, leading trainer at the Raceway. This is Patrick Shepard with us for the pregame show. I'm your track announcer, Shannon Sugar Doyle. Before we get to Patrick, uh, we'll get to an HBI bet play of the day. Race number nine tonight. We're going to key in on number seven, Bourbon Sealster. She's in with a shot for age pacing mayor of the year here at the Raceway. Eight to five in the morning line. She's got that outside chance now. She just missed last time out, finishing second. Leading driver Scott Coulter stays on the drive. She can start tonight's late daily double. Seven bourbon seals to your HBI play of the day. For HBI bet in Western Fair District comes up in the ninth. Early pick three play. Starting off in race number one. Uh, the scratch of number six, rubber nose. The six comes out of the first, so we're going to go to the inside three. We'll go four deep in race number two. And over into the third, uh, going to use Lady Orb, one that uh, Patrick does train and will drive tonight. He now inherits the rail. It's a key scratch in the third. Take out the one in race number three. We'll complete the pick three with the two, five, and seven. The third race starts tonight's early pick four. Use the same three. Going to key in on number six, Jack Rabbit Jody in the fourth. The seven-year-old is three for three lifetime, and I don't see them... Uh, taking on that one today. Uh, Jack Rabbit Jogi uh, looking like another winner there for driver Andy Moore in the fourth. Fifth race, uh, gonna go deeper there. Four deep in fact, deepest of all in race number six, a wide open event uh, claiming mares on the pace. Race seven, starts up a late pick four. Uh, three, War Crimes comes in off a Woodbine, a Flamborough stint, the six Artistic Meadow showing great form here in London. Deepest, uh, well, we're six deep there in race eight. Key in, as mentioned, on the play of the day. Seven bourbon steals there. She's looking live in the ninth. The all button, race number 10. There's a scratch in there as well. Take out the five, so we've got a field of eight, and the all button looks fine in race number 10. Nothing jumps off the page there. We're going to take a short break right now. We're going to come back with a whole lot more again. Leading trainer Patrick Shepard with us for the pregame show. We're going to talk about the trainer's title here in London. Uh, as mentioned, he's leading uh, number two in all of Canada, too. It's been a great year, hey? Yeah, it's been big. You been betcha. Really big. Uh, real big year for Patrick Shepard. We're coming back with a whole lot more in the pregame show. Stick around. HPIBet.com. Access, rewards, and more. Hey, welcome back, everyone. You're watching Race Day at the Raceway. Leading trainer Patrick Shepard with his uh, Race Day debut. Glad you're with us for the show. Yeah. Uh, busy guy, so I know it's a, a little tough to meet up for stuff like this, but uh, just one horse in to go tonight, and you're actually going to sit in the sulky tonight. Yeah, we. Uh, I just want to see how she's going to play out. Uh, yeah. She's uh, been having a little trouble there for the first couple of starts in, in back into Canada. Mm -hmm. So um, I sat up on her last week. She was third. She raced good. So hopefully we can follow along and all right. be all right. We'll get more on Lady Orb in the third race. Uh, wagering menu for tonight. Setting up like this. Low 15% take on some pick three, pick four, and high five playing. Your programs and selections, video streaming. It's all up <coughs> on our website, westernfairdistrict.com. Go to wagers. They are... The pick three play right up front, always a $2,500 guaranteed pool. Pick fours underway, races three and seven. The high fives go the added distance, uh, races six and ten. Again, low 15% take on our go-to wagers. Go-to wagering averages. Uh, well, we can go there. Go-to wager averages or the trainer wins. Let's stick with the train. Okay, there it is. Go-to wager averages. This is what we got this meet. Early pick three pool, that's been over $4,000. The average 20 cent payout on the pick three has been 35. Uh, pick fours, uh, lots of play there as well, over $9,000. The average pool, high fives, over $7,000. Average pool, the average 20 cent payout on the high five, uh, $695. We had another one in the finale last night that paid over two grand. It pays to bet the raceway. Now we're gonna bring up that trainer's title board. This is trainer wins. In total, uh, this season, that 2018 at the raceway, 
Patrick Shepard tops all with 33, but Richard Morrow is right there with 32. Vic Putty at 31. Kyle Bossens, a solid year. Lindsey Kerr rounding out the top five. But the, even for Canada, the uh, trainer wins total. You're right there in the runner-up spot, uh, Patrick. Uh, uh, nobody's going to take away number two spot for everybody. You're not catching Richard Morrow, but uh, maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next year we'll take a run at him and see what happens. Let's talk about this past season. Uh, 195 victories. You set goals at the start of a new year uh, when you come into a new season for racing. Yeah, like every year I kind of, if I can get to 100 wins, I'm happy, you know. Uh, you got that uh, early this year, <laughs> eh? Yeah, I, it it just happened quick. I, I have a lot more horses this year, and, mm -hmm. and things are working out better, and more quality. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, you know, horses are, I have better owners than I've than I've ever had. I've only had a couple owners here and there, okay. but there's a lot more owners in the barn now. So you started off the season uh, 2018 with how many horses? I had about uh, 12, okay. 12, 13 horses, and we started out hot. Like we were, we came out firing right off the bat this year, and. Uh, mm -hmm. Up that to a number of... we got 36 there right now. Is that right? Eh? Yeah. You have gotten busy, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I know you've uh, got close to a 1,000 starts. Uh, it's a career best year for you. Uh, Going to try and hit that 200. You've got your first million-dollar season. Yeah. Uh, you've mentioned uh, a, lot more train a lot more owners have put in their faith in you. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just a solid season. Uh, going into next year, you'll give that... Uh, career milestone the 1,000th career victory run you'll take aim at that I'm sure yeah that'll be my goal next year I was hoping I'd get to it for sure right on so uh, closing in on 200 victories 2018 uh, most of your racing has taken place here in Ontario but uh, you were able to make it back home for old home week in Prince Edward Island uh, you don't get a whole lot of action in the sulky but you got some action in Charlottetown we're gonna bring up a replay it's your last trip to the winner's circle when driving this is August old home week in Charlottetown we're gonna turn it up for the track announcer Vance Cameron uh, here we go take it away Vance 57 three as they should up here rolling over to the 5 8 led by unicorn Hanover tracking Shaq and his beach fighter there goes PJ Camdex third on the outside fourth up the inside is draft seals turn ideal check it now on the outside is the trailer going to three quarters led there by unicorn Hanover beach fighter getting a journey it's a ground saving trip if your name's draft fielder the rail got wide opened up and now he's third fourth on the outside is pj camdex ideal ticket the trailer three quarters and one 28 and two they turn for home unicorn hanover by three beach fighter is second draft fielder come up the inside third but unicorn hanover will capture the alpine five thousand dollar claiming series consolation for Patrick Shepard. Beach Fighter was second. Draft Sealster will finish third in one. 58 3. So there was your last trip to the Winter's Circle as a driver. You know what? You're showing up here in the Winter's Circle. You're showing up back home, old home week. It's just like a family reunion, eh? Yep, it is. It's it's really good. Uh, you know, I have my little boy there with me. It's. Uh, mm -hmm. It's big, yeah, for sure. A lot of people come down and uh, say hi here in the Winter Circle. I made it to the Winter Circle a few times myself there. There's a Team to the Moon uh, starter, Hunger Pangs, uh, won a couple of stake races, Old Homie. Always a lot of fun meeting up with old friends and, uh, you know what, Old Homie in Charlottetown. If you've never been there, folks, it's a, it's a trip you want to make. Gold Cup and Saucer to finish up the week. Uh, you ever been in the Gold Cup and Saucer yet? I've never driven it, but we had a horse in it last year. Okay. Uh, fool me once. Um, right. My brother drove it. Um, it's it's a race that I've well we grow up wanting to win yeah, and sure. uh, I no matter what I've I want to win it with my brother mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh, hopefully someday we're we're gonna have a horse and he's gonna drive it and I'm gonna train it and we'll get it done. We see that combo a lot here in London. Uh, Rob Shepard driving for brother trainer uh, Patrick Shepard. Uh, do you have a go-to list of your drivers you use here in Ontario? <coughs> yeah. <it's laughs> They always tease me down in the in the driver's room. I, you know, I switch it up uh, quite a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this year, I've been sticking with Robert, and it's been working out. You mm -hmm, know, uh, been, yeah. yeah. Some owners want horses driven differently, and uh, mm -hmm. 
you know, they'll ask for somebody different sometimes yeah, too, right? Exactly. They've exactly. got that call. You, but you, my my go to is uh, Robert, mm -hmm. uh, Travis Henry, mm -hmm. and uh, Brett McDonald. Them are my three drivers. Mm -hmm. uh, Brett McDonald fitting in well here uh, around uh, Flamborough and London. Yeah, he's he's got really good hands. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. He's quiet. He always, you know, he's he never overdrives a horse. Mm -hmm. um, he'll always bring you something back and. You know, and some horses, you know, they need to be tripped out and stuff. And mm -hmm. you, you always see Brad, you, you know, he's sneaking up the passing lane to win a race. Or yeah, he's, he's very patient. Very right, patient, always. Right? And, yeah. uh, you know, he's coming on the outside, gets up, nips you by a nose. Yeah, he certainly impressed me with a few of his victories here in London. A great guy, too, on the pregame show. We've had him on. Uh, 22 years old, good head on his shoulder. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He's... Uh, very responsible, and uh, he does a he does a really good job. All right, friend of the show was a uh, message in there last night following a claim in race number one. Uh, <laughs> you're always busy in the claiming box, it seems. A uh, uh, claiming game was big uh, years ago here in Ontario, and you're probably claiming more horses uh, than most in Ontario. And you you <coughs> took one last night. Next cashed out of race one. Friend of the show wants to know why. Well. <sighs> I know it was a long shot, but sure. uh, I've been claiming a lot of favorites, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, a couple of them didn't show up for me. Okay. So uh, I claimed Spicy Victor two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't fire for me. I I, I I have won with that horse before mm -hmm. once, but like even Robert said after the race, this horse doesn't fire up for you. So I thought, you know what? Let's take a crack at a long shot and Roll see what happens. Dice, right? Roll the dice and yeah. see what happens. Uh, gambling, is, it's a big part of horse racing and taking a gamble on the claim last night, next cash. Maybe see that one? Yeah, either here, uh, either Flamborough Saturday or okay. uh, maybe back here Tuesday or Monday night. Okay then. So uh, let's see, uh, you're driving Lady Orb then, race number three tonight. We're going to get a look <coughs> at her. Uh, let's talk about her a bit here right now. She's been in your barn for a few starts. Uh, the form wasn't that great on her coming in from south of the border, but you say she was better last time on finishing third. You now got the rail to work with tonight. Tell us about it. Um, she's she's a, she's still pretty green. Okay. Um, coming in, she didn't fire. I thought she would have fired up real good okay. uh, for a start and stuff, but she didn't really. You know, she didn't fire up. She never didn't want to really leave the gate when Robert drove over there. He was off 11, okay. and uh, she could beat 36 lengths. So I. Uh, I thought I might drive her last week and just see what she's doing, kind of mm -hmm. try to figure her out a little sure. bit. I stayed on this week just to see what, see if she's going to come back to what she is. I think she'll be a little bit better tonight. She certainly did step up a little more last time, finishing third, a mile of 201 and one over Flambro again. Yep. You got the rail now, the key scratch of one. She sports style. We're talking yep. about two, Lady Orb. Uh, the one horse Patrick will race tonight. Patrick will drive as well. Funny three likely to give you some good competition in there. She's on a roll. Yeah, she's she's been racing good for Han. Uh, she's been winning lots, and uh, hopefully that I can follow and get a good piece. Right on. Uh, Lady Orb, Patrick Shepard driving in race number three tonight. Thanks a lot, Patrick, for joining us tonight. Uh, any shout-outs for this evening? Uh, I'll say hi to my grandmother home in PEI and my mom. So. I Mom Francis. Yeah. My I mother's <laughs> name is Francis. So yeah, I yeah, know, I know they'll be that. watching for sure. Right on. Uh, Father Harold, uh, yep. a lot of them in the family have race stories. Now, your dad drove horses. you got a brother, Steve, and brother Rob here, of course. Uh, yep. Any other family members involved in racing? Uh, just my cousins, Jason and Kurt Hughes and, right on. and Robbie and all that. Blue Knight. The, the Blue Knight. I hear that a lot when I'm two did the Red Shore as uh, Charlotte Hound and Summerside. The Blue Knight, Jason Hughes. We've yeah. had him here in London for a driver's championship. That yep. was a great time. Yeah, no, he's good. All right, wonderful job in the pregame, right. man. Thanks for coming up and joining us. And, hey, best of luck on maybe taking down that trainer's title. First time ever in London, possibly? First time ever in London, yep. You've got a few trainer's titles over Flambro, uh, Grand River you've got, Hanover, but yep. London, not yet, but maybe this year. I think it might be this year. If you take it down, are you coming up to the banquet on February 23rd? 100%. Right on. <laughs> Patrick Shepard, leading trainer for wins, runner-up to Richard Morrow thus far in 2018 through Canada for training victories. Let's go back and do some recap capping now. So pick three and pick four playing. Go back to the opener. We're using the inside three. The six is scratching there from race one. We're four deep in the second. Third race, key scratch of one. So we're going to the two, five, and seven. Yes, we are using two. Lady Orb for Patrick with that rail advantage down to third. Third race will start the early pick four. Stay on the same three. Using the two, five, and seven. We'll key in on the six. Jack, Rabbit, Jody. How about that seven-year-old coming in to go three for three, Patrick? Yeah, it's, it's good, yeah. All right, good story on that one in the fourth race. Number six, Jack, Rabbit, Jody. We're four deep in race five, six deep in race six to complete.
late pick four, race number seven, three war crimes. On a bit of a roll with two straight victories, switching to trainer Jared Bako, Colin Kelly gets the call on that one tonight. Six Artistic Meadows, been doing it well here in London. We're six deep in race eight. We've keyed in on our play of the day, possible age pacing mirror of the year here at the raceway, number seven, Bourbon Sealster, looking good to go in the ninth. Scott Coulter stays on in the all button. If we make it to the tenth, we're cashing the all button lit up there in race number ten. Cameraman Trev, standing by. What do you got for us, Trev? Race three, number two, Lady Orby says, I gotta show some love for our pregame show guest, Patrick Shepard. What do you think? He's brave. <laughs> he's brave. Cameraman's brave. Last <laughs> week he's into the eggnog. This week he's just brave uh, going with Lady Orb there for race number three. Got that rail to work with now. It's Survivor Tuesday. Always free to play. Online or on track. Uh, brought to you each and every week by HBI Bet. Chance for you to win a $100 deposit to your HBI account. A chance for you to win your way in to the grand finale on Camelot Classic Night. Final Friday of May. We close out our race meet. Closing boards. Everything you need is on our website. Free programs, selections, video replays, and more. Westernfairdistrict.com slash raceway. We've got 10 races on a great-looking track, Patrick. Yeah, the track's really good right tonight. We're starting up at 6.15 Eastern. Good luck tonight.